there is a bit of a lull in the garden at this time of year. Some flowers are starting to fade. I don't feel like I've quite mastered the late summer flowering yet. But that's one thing I enjoy about gardening. It's a bit of a puzzle. The July sun has finally shown its face here in England. And today I have some garden maintenance that I would like to get sorted. And I thought it would be nice to show you around a bit as well. When we bought this house, the gardens were quite overgrown. And so in 2019, we decided to start work on it. To be honest, I love a garden to be more enclosed. Some things are out of sight, hidden corners that you have to explore to find. However, that just wasn't going to be practical with a young family. I wanted to be able to see all the children playing from my kitchen window. I definitely did not want any hiding spots. The raised beds, I think, add some structure to the garden while still leaving it open enough for me to keep an eye on the children. Gardens really do teach you how to be patient. Plants can look like they're hardly growing at all for a year or two all of a sudden they flourish. And you realise that they were growing all along. It was just happening out of sight. I love pottering around, especially on these warm summer evenings when the heat of the day hasn't fully disappeared yet but there's a gentle coolness in the air. I haven't had much luck with hydrangeas, but I'm hoping this time I found a location in my love. I had a rosemary plant here for many years, but all of a sudden it just died. I think with all the rain recently, this corner of the garden was just too damp for it. Sometimes you won't know why something has gone wrong, and that's okay. There's always a tomorrow in the garden. Whilst I love an evening spent in the garden, it's nothing quite like an early morning. While most are still sleeping and the morning dew is fresh on the grass. The sun is just starting to peek into the garden. It's a moment of pure magic. So I hope you enjoy this little tour around my garden. A 
Eventually, I would love this area to be filled with larger pots and containers. We bought the olive tree in 2019 and you can see how much it has grown since then. I just love it. It's evergreen so it keeps its leaves all year round. I also find it very strange seeing it covered in snow some winters. This mock orange blossom, it's quite nondescript for most of the year, but in the spring, it's covered in beautiful flowers. And the only things that I kept from the old garden was a rhubarb plant. It seems to absolutely thrive here. Rhubarb crumble is one of my favorite puddings, so I'm very happy to have all the rhubarb. Down at the bottom of the garden, eventually I would love a fire pit and a seating area around it. I haven't really done much with the plants down here yet. I mainly just stick any plants in that I've divided up in the autumn. There are lots of things that still need plenty of work in the garden, but everything takes time and money. And my goodness, can a garden swaddle up money? And so I'll keep working on it, slowly and patiently. It's the process of looking after it that I get so much enjoyment from. I suppose in a way it tends to me, as much as I tend to it.